everyone. Right, I'm just showing you this uh, tag that I've just finished. And I'm calling it my green tag. Because it is green. Everything about it is green. Do you remember the frames I tested out the other day? Using different, uh, that technique with the glue and uh, mixing the um, embossing powders and that. Well, it did come out pretty neat. So I thought, well, I'm not going to waste it. I'm going to use it. And I love the way it came out. So I've just taken a piece of chipboard. I've not done the back. Um, I haven't papered it at all. All I've used is the, uh, you know, the Tim Holtz inks. And the two I used, I covered the whole lot first in the peeled paint and then edged it all in the pine needles and then edged it again in the black soot. And, um, and then what I've done use one of the sprays that I made the other day if you remember that one that I did with a little butterfly I've added a Tim Holtz key using the Sharon SM Scrapper technique and then I've added the two butterfly, uh, the two dragonflies and stamped around it saying 2001 uh, 2011 sorry and then added the pin with the chain these are just scraps of chain that I've got left they're not big enough to do anything really but then using the Martha Stewart punch at the bottom edging it in the peeled paint and um, and making that as a paper border, a card border rather than using lace and I just thought uh, it's a nice little tag quite big, it's about 5 inches across by 7 inches long 8 inches long with the lace on the bottom so I just thought I'd share that with you I like the effect this had. Look at the multicolours of green and this. Using the alcohol inks as well. And there you go. I'll probably glitter this up uh, at some point. But until then, I'll speak to you soon. Bye.